YouTube channels that feature vintage board games. Um, I'll tell you one thing I have learned uh, since I have started this channel. There are so many cool vintage board games out there, and I learn something every time I uh, watch these guys or just watch any channels about vintage board games or talk to people uh, that have massive collections that know their history about board games. There's so much cool stuff out there, but I'm going to go ahead and show some of the channels and maybe even some of the websites uh, that I really dig, um, and uh, we'll just kind of go through that. So, anyway, uh, I'll start with, um, let's see here. I'll start with my friend Luke from Down From The Attic. Um, he is from England, and uh, he has a great channel. Uh, a lot of his games, of course, are the older games. Uh, but he does a great job with the production. Um, he does really good editing, and I think at one point he even used the uh, was Curse of the Idol, I believe the game was, and he made it to where it looked like he was actually in the game, which is very cool. Uh, I'll just uh, play a little video of his here just to kind of give you an, an idea of what he can do. There we go. Great guy, too. Players, goalies that caught the ball. This blew my tiny little mind. I begged my parents to get it in for Christmas. And when Christmas Day rolled around, I was not disappointed. The similarities to Sabuti yep. cannot be ignored. There's a lot of elements. Yeah, he does a really good job. Uh, I'll just show some of the other things he's got here. Let's take a look at his playlists. Uh, ball bearing, collectibles, videos. Here we go. Um... And he's got a lot of games that uh, are available there, but like from Waddington's that were not made here. Um, and so you'd learn a lot um, by watching some of these things. Ghostbusters, Ghost Castles, um, just a lot of really good videos um, that he does here. So this is a good channel to go to, down from the attic. All right. Anyway, guys, uh, if you think, think of any other vintage board game channels, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments or just feel free to leave any kind of comment. Oz is nice. Um, and uh, we will go on to the next one here. Luke's a great guy. Uh, here's my friend Vinny, Insane Board Game Freak Show. Here he is. Uh, now, Vinny has a ton of games, as you can tell by looking at these pictures. Um, he's uh, he, He's got a cool personality. Um, and uh, he has a lot of board game reviews, a lot of games. Um, and I'll just show some of them here. Uh, and here's a great museum caper. Uh, that's a fantastic game. And he has a lot of games that I don't have that some of them I've never even heard of. And uh, some of these games are just really cool. All right, here's one. I'll just uh, pick one here. Here's one, the, where was it? Risk Lord of the Rings. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at this one. I'll just show a little bit of Vinny here. And he's a good friend of mine. He's a good guy. Um, here um, we go. Slam. So and that's basically it. And you get these other dice in here. Uh, sponsors. So I can see that this game is going to probably be a little bit like... Um, so, you know, Vinny pretty much just will go through the game um, little by little. Um, but he has a, so many games. Um, yeah, just take a look at all these videos. And he loves vintage board games, too. Um, and he's got, like, a version of Operation, which is, I think, where you actually have to operate on a 3D head. <laughs> it's just crazy stuff. Um, but, yeah. If you like vintage board games, Vinny's a really good resource to go to. He's got a lot of games, and uh, he's a good guy. All right, let's go to the next one here. Uh, Bowers Game Corner. Now, some of you might be familiar with um, him, Forrest. Um, he's a really good guy. He's got a lot of energy, and he has a ton of uh, games and videos. He, I don't. I think he said he has over 8,000 videos or something when I did an interview with him. But he does Kickstarters. Uh, he does all kinds of games. And he also has uh, some older games on here. Um, and uh, let's see here if I can find one. I may not be able to find one. But uh, here, here's what I'll do. I'll play. Well, can I even do it? I guess not. 
Uh, let's see. Anyway, let's go back here. Uh, but yeah, he does a lot of stuff, and um, you know, good resource to go to uh, for all kinds of games. And he also goes to uh, game conventions, and uh, he has a video camera with him. I think everywhere he goes. Um, but he's a really nice guy. And uh, let's see here. I'll just play a little bit of one of his videos here. Let's see here, just to kind of give you an idea of what it's like. Let's see here. There we go. I'll skip to this here. Uh, Florida gonna, if you have a power meter like this on the side of your house, I don't have a power meter. Solar, Thank you very much. Cost it costs nothing. Don't let me mute it. I don't want to hear it. No cost out of pocket. All right. There it is. I'll Player just... game. I would have four minus one, which means I will need three tokens for this game. And you're going to set those kind of in the middle so everyone will be able to reach them. Whoever shuffled can be the first dealer, and now you're ready to start the game. So how do you win? Well, it's quite simple. You need to get four of a kind of numbers in your hand. So he does the reviews of the games four. and teaches you how to play them. So and then he'll, uh, with typically will give you his final thoughts on it. And one thing he's good at, he'll tell you the uh, good and the bad about the game. Um, but uh, he's a good guy and a really good channel. It is Bowers Game Corner. Hey, Bernardo, how are you, sir? It's good to see you. I'm going to do your channel next, Tabletop Island here. I'll just show the comment. There you go. I've been okay. I've been doing all right. I hope you've been doing good too, Bernardo. How have you been doing? Uh, speaking of Bernardo, here he is, Tabletop Island. Uh, he does a great job with production. Um, he's got a good theme too. Um, and I'll show you one of the uh, videos that he has. Um, he does uh, great editing. Treasures and Trapdoors. Here we go. Here's the game he Heavy turned me on to. Plastic. Here's the intro. Journey through the pyramid in efforts to collect three gems. Oh, uh, look how pretty that the curse is. Of the cobra, because you may end up in a trap you can't get out of. Yep. Great editing. Treasures and Trapdoors by Waddington's. Welcome to Tabletop Island. Is. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at the vintage board game. Well, take a look. He, Treasures and Trap Doors. He has like some uh, this is by filters that he uses to make the game look old. I like the microphone. This game <laughs> is awesome. Obviously, you guys know yeah. I love the adventure theme. Going Bernardo's through a great guy, too. He does a really good job. Traps. Oh, it has everything I could want in this board I'll game. I'll take a look at some of the other ones that he has here. Here's Pipeline. Um, and he, he, he likes slime games. And he has a lot of games, too, that were not made in this country that are very, very cool. Um, here's the one with a record player. Uh, here's another one called Creeps. He -he, I like that idea. Yeah, this is one called Horrified. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of good videos, and um, I highly recommend him. He's a, he's a good guy. He's got great videos. He uh, does a good job. All right, let's go on to... Uh, Matt, my, Matt Wilkins. Matt has a page called Star Wars Expanded Universe, and uh, but he also does uh, vintage board game reviews and uh, board game reviews in general. He has, I think, close to 400 games now, but a lot of the ones that he has are uh, older games, um, and he's a big fan of the older games. And I'll just kind of go to one of them here. And he's got a heck of a personality. Uh, this is his first one. I might actually skip to like something more recent. Here we go, bumper cars. All right. Oh. Grammarly can help you write Enough of the commercials. So you never have to slow down at work. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Stay on top of emails, documents, and more without having to. All right, gamers. Today it's time to go back to the 80s and review bumper cars. Let's check it out. You're welcome, Bernardo. I'm glad uh, you do a great right, so job. In this game, you are one of these. So anyway, Matt, uh, we'll take a game. Color. We'll take so it out. You can be yellow, blue, we'll red, it. or green. And as you see, each one of them have a sticker, and they go in that parking lot. Some of these who don't have stickers, some of the stickers fell off. It does show, and I don't know if you can see it, it shows the embedding of it. So you can still tell what number yeah. it is, even if you lost some of the stickers from the old game. This is a very old game. And uh, like a lot of the other channels, Matt will give his final class. thoughts we on it. We play it backstage in the theater and play bumper cars. It was super fun. Everyone laughed. Everyone had a good time. And uh, my nephews love it. I love it. It's just a great game. Uh, yeah, and he has a lot of different reviews here. I'll see if I can find some more. All right. Uh, let's see if these are the games. But, yeah, he has a 
a lot of older games, some newer games. Um, so he's a good resource to go to. He's a great guy, uh, like I said. Another really good one is Matt. All right, let's see who's next. Yeah, really short hair, Matt. That's funny. All right. Uh, board Game Man. This is Jamie. Uh, he is from California, and uh, he uh, does a lot of what similar to what we do. I'll just kind of give you an idea here. If I can find an older game. He does older games as well. Um, let me see if I can find one. Uh, let's see. Pole position. There we go. That's older. This is just a little example of Jamie here. Drivers, start your engines! Yeah, this is Jamie the Board Game Man. This episode, Jamie's a great guy, too. We're going to look at an arcade look game. Look at that collection. That into I love the shelves. Back in 1983, I absolutely loved this game on Atari 2600. Then it became a stand-up arcade game. Then it became one. Man. So let's head on over to the gamer's table and get racing. All right, <laughs> so we'll go on to so this. That, that's, you know, it's kind of cool how you can do that. And, uh, you know, and, Jamie uh, will show you the game. And you obviously do talk the top about first it. and then the second last and so on. Once all the players have determined which cards they want to do in what order, you're going to go ahead and start in the order that's on here. So obviously green is going to go first. Say green went through a step. Yeah, so and Jamie basically will show you the game and talk about it. You just and have, you just uh, he has a lot of games, too, that I don't have. And uh, you know, one of the cool things about all these channels is you just discover so much um, as far as games and things like that. Uh, I do not know where he is. I'm going to get Attic Raiders up. This is Mark. Here he is. Attic Raiders Retro Review. Uh, he's another guy that does a fantastic job with the production. Um, and uh, he has a cool little Raiders of the Art theme going with his channel. Frogs. We've got some really, really fantastic details on here, like the gargoyle water fountains and the spell books to the bones of other players who just haven't quite made it. Scroll and this fighting. Yeah, just a really good like job with the editing and the uh, showing the videos We've here. Let me see if I can find a. And there he is. I'll go to where he's at. The other so the cool thing is he has like a, the cool little hat and, you know, the Raiders theme going on, which is where the Attic Raiders idea comes from. So he's got a cool theme with the channel, but also does a lot of these older games. Um, and he does a great job making these videos. Uh, let's just, and a lot of these games I've not heard of that are like 3D, I uh, just got some great components. Um, like here's one called Stress and Sam, Action Attraction. Uh, just some fantastic looking games. Um, and he's a good, good, he's a good guy. All right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I bet you did, Bernardo. Um, he's, he's got some amazing games. Uh, I love talking with him when I did the interview with him. Oh, uh, let me see here. Uh, think Collection THX has some older games. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let me go to playlists. Uh, now he does a lot of toys. He has a lot of toy Star Wars toys. Um, and I think somewhere in here he has some board game reviews. Let me see here. Here's a one Bowling for Zombies. Zaxxon. Here's here's one. Now he does stop motion in his videos. Um, let me just go ahead and uh, skip ahead here. Yeah, I like the stop motion. Let's see what he goes here. Uh, at least with this video, um, he's got some pictures of the game. Um, let's see. But if you like like Star Wars games, here we go. Link at the end for an in-depth look at how to play the 1982 Zack Sound board game by Milton Bradley. So he also does like a lot of editing and things like that. Play the um, this is Collection THX. Uh, I've known him for a while. He's a good guy. Uh, all right, let's see. Who else have we got here? Um, let me see if I can find him. My friend Jeffrey's are I, I struggle to spell his name a lot. There we go. 
Uh, he has a lot of different things here. Now his collection is large. He's got about a thousand games. Um, you see how many board he doesn't don't see a lot of board game reviews on here. Um, but we'll take a look at what we got here. Let's see here. Uh, or I think that's a playlist actually. Hi everyone, I'm Noel. Bird here. I'm half a movie. I check this guy out. Let's see here. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Hey, today you get a special Let's bonus see. board game and DVD video. All right. Now, I know he has a lot agents, of games. Which uh, they probably do have hero clicks of these agents, but instead of giving you actual more hero clicks of the agents. So, Jeffrey will like show a lot of what the game is. If you play, uh, if you do, let's just skip a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, he's a cool good. guy to talk to. Um, anyway, remember, guys, good all the time. All the time, guys, good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, Another statement. <laughs> all right, board the show. Yeah, let me go ahead and get that one up, Bernardo. Uh, let's see here. I do remember that one, and I wonder if those guys are still around. Um, here it is. Uh, these guys did it. Uh, made this into basically a show of them playing this game. Here we go. I don't. I haven't seen them do a video in a while. Uh, here we go. I'll just go over this here. With friendship comes epic wins and defeats. <laughs> the answers. The singers. So I think a lot of what they Watchmen. do with this is they show you and how to the play it, and then they actually do a playthrough. The of dancers, it. Watchmen, and Hitchhiking. Here we go. I win every time. I don't know why you try. I don't know why I try. <laughs> oh, they're there to fall. That's interesting. You'll never win a game. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess their show is kind of like a combination of comedy, showing you how to play I the game, the and then playing a game, all mixed up in one here. Um, let me see what other ones they did here. I haven't, I don't think they upload anything anymore, but uh, they had separated them the seasons and they got like a lot of games here, like uh, Masters of the Universe. Yeah, choose instead not to use the cardboard character. Yeah, that's an interesting channel, though. I mean, they have a lot of cool games that they play and they have an interesting presentation. I still have another chance, though. All right, let's see here. All right, we got you here. Let's see that. All right, let's see here what other ones they have here as far as older channels. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good one, Bernardo. You know, let's take a let's just take a look around here. I'm gonna just type in vintage game and see what pops up. Uh, vintage board game, rather. Let's see here. Auction professor. Uh, well, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, there you are, Bernardo. Uh, let's see. Seems like a lot of these are just telling you how to make money on old games. Uh, let's see. Lucky Penny Shop has a lot of. <laughs> they have a lot of videos. And uh, I'll go to them. I don't know if they have a playlist hey, of the older games. Let's see here. Um, but, yeah, they have, like, a lot of older games that they have reviewed. I don't know if I'll be able to find them uh, in here. But they do a lot. Let's try to videos to see if anything pops up here. Uh, but mainly they do, like, a lot of toys and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, you just have to probably look around if you're looking for board games, but they do have a lot of board game, uh, that they do. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Hey, Owen Nelly. Let's check out Owen Nelly. There you go. Bernardo, let's see here. Owen Nelly. Let's see here. Oh, hold on. I probably spelled it wrong. Oh, and Neil. Okay. Yeah, 
There we go. All right. Well, he's still uploading things. All right. Let's see here. Here we go. Board games. Let's take a look here. He has 118. Oh, Jake and Owen. Okay. I know these. I, I, uh, I've i seen these guys. They, they have some pretty humorous videos here. They played. Yeah. I ought to review these guys. Sorry, not review them. Interview these guys. There we go. And they basically just play the game. And this is a pretty fun game in itself. Uh, but let's see what else they got. Uh, Bigfoot, Lost Gold, Sharkmania. Yeah, they they play all these games. Um, but yeah, another channel that's got a lot of the older vintage board games. Um, and they basically just do playthroughs of them. But it's 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 interesting to watch. All right. Yes. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, it's the Lucky Penny Shop YouTube toy channel where the door. All right. Let's see here. No, you got it. Hi, Arjun. How are you doing? We're just kind of looking through vintage board game channels tonight. Let's peek us in here. Vintage board game channel. Let's see if something pops up there. Uh, let's see here. What a board game club. I wonder if that, I don't know if that's recent or not. I actually, they have some where they have commercials. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys got any suggestions? I'm just kind of looking through here. Um, let's see. Retro board game review. I have heard of this person. Let me see here. Howdy, neighbors. It's called Always Bored, Never Boring. Okay. Space Crusade. Ugh. Now that's a game I would love to have. Uh, let's see here. Um. Let's see. Warhammer. Qu okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, a lot of videos here. Um, I haven't I haven't been to this channel. I don't think. Uh, I'm curious to see if they have any older games. Let's see. I'm not seeing any right now, but um, I would be surprised. Uh, yeah, that, I'm gonna check this one out. Here we go, the Dark Crystal. Now that was based on an older game of uh, the same name. Let's see here. And you can just see what an absolutely beautiful miniature it is. Wow, that's a nice miniature. The detailing is lovely, and it really does. The slave quarters, which leads up to the banquet hall, and then the throne room, the crystal chamber. And then the I don't know if this is based off of the old board game, uh, but it looks like a nice game regardless. It's All right. All right, let's see right here. Hey, it's the Lucky Penny Shop YouTube toy channel where the door is always open. Holding you. Lucky Penny is Shop is going to be getting some play tonight. Here. All right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. That's why. Okay. Uh, let's see. My local shop is Space Crusade. We actually, uh, I, I actually found a shop that had it. They wanted one hundred fifty dollars for it, and. Um, I don't know if I should have got it or not, but I guess really at this point we're just trying to find games that we can actually play that don't take forever to learn. Uh, but that would be a cool game to have in a collection for sure. All right, let's see if we got any other ones here. Uh, might take a look at one more. Oh, here we go. There's Renardo. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if anybody has any suggestions, please feel free to toss them my way. Uh, but those are just some that I came across. Ah, um, let me go to one more. Um, 
AGPI. Uh, now, this is the Association of Games and Puzzles International. They just started doing a, uh, a page, and uh, their website is incredible. Um, I'll just I'll show you real quick after I look through this. Um, since Action Book Auction and Make Card Games, since Action made that game acquire. Um, and they just recently started. Uh, but I'll show you their uh, website real quick. All right. Well, if it'll pop up. Hello. Here we go. I think. All right. Slow computer. Uh, but anyway, the uh, the page, uh, they've been around for a long time. And um, well, this is actually working. All right, let me do this. Oh, now it shows up. All right. There we go. Well, anyway, they've been around and uh, have that are a part of this. Uh, but anyway, it's the... Uh, a page uh, that they mainly did is collect older games and puzzles. Some people have games from like over a hundred years ago. Um, but here's one of the things I like, and there's a lot of things to like on this page. Uh, they have like game catalogs. Um, like here's the AGPI game catalog uh, that has all these games listed from, you know, tons of games here, all the way from 1850 to 1950. Um, and then they have uh, an archived game catalog database with all this. Um, but I like the I dig this part for sure. Um, and come on, open. There we go. Yeah, they have like scans of like some of the older catalogs uh, that were out uh, when these games came out. So here's something from Parker Brothers, and it's in flip book format too. Um, I'll just show this. I do not know why my computer is so slow. But anyway, here we go. Um, all right. Loading, loading. Anyway, here we go. 1920, 1921. So they flipped through it and they've scanned up all these pages and you can see like all these old games that were out at the time that they were trying to sell. Um, very cool, and um, I, I don't know how many catalogs they have offhand, uh, but these are just samples of what they do have, um, and they've got a ton of them. Um, uh, and let's see what else. Uh, Vince Publications, and they do a quarterly newsletter too, um, and uh, here's then they look really nice as well. Um, and uh, I did an interview with these guys, uh, Bruce, who was one of the founders, and a game designer himself, and Bob, who was a uh, web developer for this page. Uh, well, I guess I went to the wrong part. Here we go. Maybe it's this one. No, it's not this one. Ah, covers. That's the one. That's what I was looking for. Um. But yeah, so this was the little magazine that they did, and the colors are really nice. And uh, I, th I think that they have some that you can look at, and it's a, again in flipbook format, and uh, they got a bunch of them. So like for anybody who's like a fan of like the older games, uh, but a lot of the people who are on this are collectors, and they don't they have games that are really old. They don't play; they just like the artwork. So I think that's a it's a cool page, cool um, organization, um, and. You know, anybody, I, I would recommend anybody who's like a fan of the older games, you know, or the, you know, check it out. All right, let's see here. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night, and I hope you all do well, be well.